A crummy commercial? Son of a... I don't want, th I don't want this to come across. Doing sponsored videos is, is not my thing. I really like just delivering free content. That's amazing, right? That's very rarely do I ever do something where I'm like, here's this plug, here's this company, yada, yada, yada. I, I just don't, I just don't like doing it. You know what I mean? But VeloGuide 100% helped me make this trip a better trip, right? Zwift brought me out on Wednesday and then VeloGuide helped me extend my stay to, to Saturday and give me something to do and guide me around. And I'm a fan of their service. If I ever talk about someone or talk about a company or a service, it's because I want to. And then I think that you would have some sort of benefit out of that versus like just having some hashtag sponsored video. So now I am a Velo Guide for the Yosemite area. I had signed up with Velo Guide to guide tours around this area maybe last year. I haven't really done anything with it though. I haven't promoted it. So I was familiar with being a guide for Velo Guide, but I had never used a guide. And so when I was in New York, I was like, hey, can you guide me around? Because that would be awesome. Because I have no clue where I'm going. And yes, I can use maps, but New York is kind of scary. It was very scary for me. So I had two guided tours set up for me. The first one was Dustin, and the second one was Susanna. Now, so I think it was Wednesday night, I actually got online, got on their website, and booked the tour. And each guide kind of has like different routes and different costs and what they offer and that sort of thing. But I booked Dustin, I booked Susanna, and then, did you see that water hit me in the face? It's raining. So then, Thursday morning, uh, I have a, a guided tour with Dustin. I get bundled up. Cause it was gonna be something like 25 degrees. I, I've actually never worn Velo toes out of necessity. I've only worn Velo toes because they look cool. But I actually had to wear toe covers or else my feet would freeze. I met Dustin um, near Central Park, but so I had to ride through the city. Not the funnest thing I've ever done, but close. I mean, it was so exhilarating, ripping through traffic. Now what's funny is that I had totally planned on making this like video of me just racing through New York City with power and speed and it was gonna be so exciting. And I look back at the footage and I'm like, dude, I was barely going. I was going very slow. This is not interesting to watch, but how it looks and how I felt, my heart rate was through the roof. I was like, wah! I felt like I was some crazy fixed rider jamming through town. It doesn't really look that way. It looks super slow. So I feel it's kind of stupid, uh, but very fun. So I go through the city, I get there, uh, and I meet Dustin, who's bundled up and probably super pissed that I booked him on a day that's below freezing. So tell me, how, how pissed are you that I'm booking this? <laughs> when, <laughs> like right now. When Joel <laughs> sent me the message, he was like, hey man, you wanna ride on Thursday? I'm like, I look at the forecast, I'm like, no. Thursday is below freezing all day. I'm like, what is, what type of bullshit? Who's coming here to ride in this <laughs> cold weather, in this forsaken place? God, but yeah, it's cold, but we'll have a good time. You know? I would like a ride where there's palm trees and it's about 85 degrees. So where, which route? We gotta go real far <laughs> that way, but. So what, what's, the, what's the plan for today? Uh, we'll do a lap, we'll head up the east side of the park and then we'll cut across and make our way up the west side highway and we'll get to the GW Bridge and then we'll head up to the Palisades Park. You know, where the uh, the Grand Final New York starts on the bridge and we'll head up that route a little bit and then we'll head back. Coffee? Coffee, yes, absolutely coffee. Yeah, a little coffee. So now again, I have no clue where I'm at, at all. And so what was so cool is that I could just trust in him, Dustin, who lives there, that he knows where he's going. And so I just followed him. I don't have to worry about my map. I don't have to worry about it. Yeah, I can just enjoy the experience. Which, it being super cold was a little hard to do but I still enjoyed the ride way more than if I was just out by myself. He took me through Central Park and then we went and got some coffee because it was like 
bro, honestly, you had about an hour of ride time and then you had to warm up. This just, just I, and maybe I'm a wuss, dude, but I, it was way too cold. All right, so I think we've been, I've been on the bike for about 45 minutes, something like maybe close to an hour. Got a double espresso. Where are we? geographically in New York like we are uh, up the west side um, about 103rd or so just uh, west of the park so we're a good ways up you know nice area can have really restaurants and all that stuff so it's a good place up here we hit up George Washington Bridge he took me across the bridge to this really neat little lookout area very spectacular and even though it was cold as balls what was kind of neat is that no one was really out there wasn't a ton of traffic, wasn't a ton of people, because it's like who in their right mind is gonna be outdoors right now. So it felt very like, it felt mm, personal. We got a few shots of this really neat bridge and overlooked the Hudson River, maybe? So what's this place like when it's not Antarctica? Is this is this park, is it like this lookout packed or what? No, it's not too busy, but it's beautiful. It's lush, it's green. You know, you can look over and see the airplanes coming up, LaGuardia and JFK out there. You see Brooklyn in the distance, so it's nice, it's lush. You see everyone walking over the bridge or running over the bridge or riding, so it's it's busy over here in a sense, but it's it's nice, it's comfortable. Um, What's the plan? We can head up, there's a bunch shop just up the street, you know, not even a mile away. We'll head up there and get coffee from out there. You want a little spot to warm up, and then we can head back. Two coffee stops, I'm all about it. And so then he took me to a local bike shop where they had more coffee and we hung out there for a little bit. Do you see a lot of people riding their bikes out in this weather right now? Right now? Uh, no, not today. Uh, weekends, yeah, bottom. Even when it's 20 degrees? Yeah, I think, what was it, two weeks ago? It was like five degrees, seven degrees, was, something like that. We yeah. had two, three groups? Groups? Yeah. <laughs> and then he took me back to the park. And what was so cool about this guided experience is that he's able to give me these like insights to the town in which I, there's no way I would know this, told me a lot about the local race scene, where rides start, uh, what good roads to go on, like secret, secret routes, you know what I mean? That you're kind of hit up some, some places that you, I wouldn't usually find on my own. But then also like, I'm in a new place, I have no clue what I'm doing or where I'm at. And so to have another person that if I had an issue, a mechanical or whatever, that was really neat. It was really neat to, to ride with him. Ride through the city, ride through Times Square. One of the most amazing moments on a bicycle, bro, just being in Times Square and looking at all these lights and whew, it was so amazing, dude. It was really, really cool. I got the What's that? I got the uh, so then Friday I met with another guide Susanna and I say that because she's Italian so she took me across the bridge again took me under the bridge this time and uh, got me a different view of the George Washington Bridge then she took me on this sort of rolling road right next to the river which is really pretty big rocks waterfalls some trees then she took me back along the Hudson, it was like a bike trail, and we sort of rode along side the Hudson, and where did we, we went to this big boat, ship, warship. It's like a retired warship or aircraft carrier. Uh, then she took me around the race course that I was gonna be racing in on Saturday, and took me back uh, home, which I think I did one more lap around Central Park. But it was, uh, it was a really cool experience being able to be guided. Now obviously you gotta kinda be a baller to like get a chauffeur to take you around on a ride. You know what I mean? That's not my, that's not my first impression of like, oh, I'm somewhere new, let me pay someone to take me around. Like I just kinda wanna go and explore on my own. But after having this experience with Velo Guide, there's 100% value to their service in that you get to just like rely on this person that they know what they're doing. Now, the, the, it was so cold, it was so cold, that it was very hard to like get a lot out of it. If it was nicer, the weather was nicer, I'm sure Dustin would have taken me on some epic five hour ride, and we would have been able to really explore some of the, the places that only the locals know about. So a huge thank you to Velo Guide for giving me two guides for Thursday and Friday. Huge thank you to Dustin and Susanna for showing me around New York. It was awesome. I wish it was warmer. We could have explored more and saw some more things. 
and I'd like to do more with Velo Guide in the future. I'd like to have more of these experiences where when I'm traveling and I'm going to new areas that I get a guide and they show me some of the backwoods, local only type area and not just like road, but mountain, cross, fixie. You know what I mean? It'd be really kind of neat to get a whole spectrum of all these different experiences and being guided by someone who is an expert of the area versus me who I'm just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to make a video out of it. So yeah, man. And again, I, I really pick these type of sponsored videos very carefully. I very rarely do this. And so I hope that you can just appreciate the honesty that like I'm not, I'm not always doing this, you know? But Velo Guy did absolutely help me make the New York trip better. So I really wanted to, uh, I wanted to share this experience with you. So, as always, vegan cyclist. Yeah! Dude, I seriously have ants crawling up my leg. Oh my goodness, dude. Oh!